T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Yo, I know project number 27 is super late. I had went out of town last week. I did something wrong with the scheduling on the YouTube. I just got back home. Here's the video. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 27. I got two confessions. First confession, I just started watching Stranger Things. I'm on season two, like episode four or five, and it's really, really good. But my daughter, she's been watching Stranger Things. And you know season three just dropped like last week or something like that, and she was telling me all about it. So I've been trying to catch up and we can watch it together. Second confession, my daughter has wanted an LED lamp made ever since I did the Troy to Maker. If you haven't seen it, I will post it up in the corner up there. So I'm gonna surprise her and make her own Stranger Things edition LED lamp. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, so I was browsing on the internet and I came across this website, Make It Strange. You can type in whatever you want, turn it into the Stranger Things font style logo. Since it would let me download it, I end up finding this font that's similar to Stranger Things. All these links to these websites will be linked in the description. Okay, so now we in Corel Draw, and this is basically what I came up with Princess Christiana and this is the font I use the font is called help me out Siri bang we at this is what it looks like after I put it in to make it stranger so I'm gonna try this tutorial thing on this I'm gonna show you how I got that red outline around Princess Christiana design okay so the first thing you're gonna do is make a copy of this design There you have it. Next thing, I put a contour around the whole design. So I went down here, contour, and then I made sure that it was on the outside and I just did one step. So I click it, made a contour around the whole design. So after that, what I did was I just selected everything, made everything black. After this, converted it to a bitmap, black and white bitmap. Once it's converted to a bitmap, I just did a quick trace and there it is it filled it up take your quick trace and move it to the back the order so you move it to the back then you take this one and you delete it. so now you just have your quick trace so next what I did was I didn't like this part right here so what I did was create a little box make sure it's on the edge and I made it black then I just repeated the convert to bitmap step so the next thing I did was select it put a hairline around it empty it out. I know that's probably not the right word. So then I also went over here to my properties because I got it set up a little different and I changed the color, the red, and that's how I made the outline to go around. And to make the little base to fit inside of it, depending on what size your LED lamp is, mine is two and a half inches by 20. I just basically put it up here like that. Select both of them. I always make sure I center it and then I wedge them together. And there you have, you have your outline to go around your whole design so you can cut out just like that let me know how i did on that tutorial i'm really trying to do these tutorials so if you like the tutorial if it was too much or make it faster or slow it down some let me know in the comments There you have it, project number 27 complete. LED lamp, custom LED lamp made for my daughter, Stranger Things edition. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe. And oh yeah, your boy just passed 500 subscribers, man. I really, really appreciate that. Every last one of you that subscribed to my channel, man, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks a million, and I'll see you in the next project. Yeah!